listen to me. Rich people think differently. So what I'm going to put in your head today is a rich people concept so you can get to understand it. The only difference between successful people and not is just how they think. Rich people think different. Quit letting people tell you you got to get qualified in another program. You don't need another program to be successful. You need to change the way you think. So here's the deal. The problem with becoming a millionaire is that when you decide that you want to be a millionaire, you immediately start thinking, how can I become a millionaire? Well, that thought don't just pop into your head, so you get frustrated and you don't become a millionaire. And you start creating stuff like, well, I guess this wasn't the Lord's will, or as soon as I think of how I'm going to make a million. You can't think of how to make a million dollars. Stop. Do you know if you knew how to make a million dollars? What's the day? Tuesday? Wouldn't you make it by Friday? <laughs> Wouldn't not you make it by Friday? But suppose I told you how you can become a millionaire with what you have. Because here's the deal. All of you have everything it takes to become rich. You just don't believe it. Now, if you can develop this theory that I'm about to share with you, I have the way for you to be rich. This is it. First of all, all of you have a gift. God gave it to you when he created you. God never created a single soul without giving them a gift. That's the God that created you. He's a very smart God. Here's the cold thing. When he made you, he put the gift inside of you. He didn't hide it under the ocean. It ain't on the mountain nowhere. It ain't under no rocks. You ain't got to go drilling. God put what you needed inside of you at birth. All of you have a gift. But you have got to do your gift, the thing God gave you at birth to do. It is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your gift. Anything else you're doing, you're wasting your time. Do you hear me? You're wasting your time. If when the alarm clock goes off in the morning and it makes you sick every morning that that alarm go off, it's because you ain't doing your gift. You're going against what God created you to be. Do, do most of you know what your gift is? Who in here doesn't know their gift yet? Okay, let me tell you what you do. Go home today. Don't talk to nobody. Sit down and have one conversation with yourself. What is the thing that I do the absolute best with the least amount of effort? This ain't going to take you long. You old enough, you grown. Write it down. I don't care if it's networking. I don't care if it's babysitting. I don't care if it's doing color. I don't care if it's painting. Whatever it is, it's what you do. Sing it. Whatever you do the best, write it down. That's your gift. That's it. You ain't got to go asking a bunch of people. They've been telling you your whole life. You know, you ever have people call you with their problems? They always call you with your problems because you're gifted at it. But you didn't, you didn't know how to identify it. If you identify your gift. Now, let me ask you this question. This thing that you're gifted at, if you did it for somebody, do you think somebody would pay you $10 for your gift? Just $10. Could you babysit for $10? Could you cut somebody's hair for $10? Could you cut their grass for $10? Could you make them a chicken dinner for $10? Could you, could you, could you do something for $10? Everybody, don't you have something somebody would give you $10 for? Okay, now, once you have something that somebody's willing to pay you $10 for, this is how this works. It's called the multiples of 10. See, you don't have to figure out how to be a millionaire. You just got to figure out the thing that makes you $10. So now here we go. You do it and you make $10. As soon as they pay you the 10, go do it 10 more times. Whatever it was. Watch some more kids, 10 more times. Get another 10, you got $100. When you get $100, whatever you did to make that $100, listen to me, do it 10 more times. You ain't got to get tricky with it. Just do it 10 more times. You'd have made $1,000. Whatever you did to make the $1,000, don't get smart. Stay stupid now. Do it 10 more times. You have now made $10,000. Hold up. Now we finna grow a little bit. 
But guess what you got to do to grow? You just got to do some more. Whatever you made $10,000 doing, I need you to do it 10 more times. What you tripping for? If you do it 10 more times, you got $100,000. Now, you might have to hire some people to make this happen. You got to figure that part out. But all you got to do is do what you did for $10. Once you make $100,000, uh-oh, if you just do it 10 more times.